Yes, ma'am. Greetings, Dr. Tim. Greetings. I just wanted to thank you for coming and sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you for allowing me the privilege. And I wanted to ask you, I've been interested in herbology for a number of years, and I find when I go to herb stores, I get information that tells me you take this herb for this ailment, but I'm interested in finding out how the, the herbs actually work on the systems of the body. Where can I find that kind of information? That kind, of, that kind of information, if it was in a book, then not only Sadie would be doing what he's doing, right? But there are no reports that anyone has cured anyone with sickle cell anemia, blindness, AIDS, diabetes, that you will not read. We're doing that. Why? Because we have to use our common sense. The herbs that are being afforded to us a hybrid plant, 90% of them are. That's why the healers are not healing anyone. Not that he would not like to, not that he may not be dedicated, but the substance that is given to him to heal with are not working. So where do you find that information? I don't know. I just happened to arrive at it and I begin to put it in a book. The book would be out this year. I didn't want to write the book either, but my mother pushed me to write the book. So the information would be in there. And how does herbs work in the body? The herbs work in the body through the process of chemical affinity. Chemical affinity is an electrical transfer. They assimilate with you. They are electrical, more electrical. We all are electrical. We need an electric substance to assimilate. That is beyond us because we were never Discipline to understand life electrically. We think that when we talk about iron, we talk about a piece of metal. No, we are talking about the electrical composition of iron. That is what the body assimilates. This information is not out there, but only in the science of biochemistry. Yes, you can go to the science of biochemistry and you can find much, much information. Thank you. Thank you.